So now that we've had lots of practice building and modifying forms, let's look at modifying tab order. After we get everything in our form positioned the way that we want, we should make sure to check the tab order and the tab stops. Tab order is the order that the focus moves as we press the tab key in our keyboard in form view. So if I've clicked in tour number and I press tab on my keyboard, I go next to the tour name and then the start date, the duration, and you can see it skips right over the tour end date and goes straight to city and so on. A tab stop refers to whether a, con a control can receive the focus in the first place. So by default, the tab stop property for everything that's a text box in a combo box is set to yes. But some of our text boxes, such as those that contain expressions, won't be used for data entry. And an example of that is the tour end date. We're not going to be putting anything um, in the tour end date text box. It's going to calculate that for us. Um, itself. So we want to make sure that all of our tab order and our tab stops are set correctly. So I'm going to go and just keep pressing tab and you can see that when I get to the end of one record and press tab again, um, it should take me to the next record. And you can see that I'm moving through records. and. Since the tour end date text box is calculated, as I stated before, we don't want it to receive focus. We don't want to ever have a tab land on it. So we need to make sure that the tab stop property is set to no using the property sheet. So let's take a look at that. We can look at the property sheet in either layout or design view. So I'm just going to switch my form to design view because that is my preference, but again, you can use Layout View if you would like. And once I'm in Design View, I'm going to click the text box with the Tour End Date Calculation. So I just want to make sure that that is the text box that is selected. And we're going to click the Other tab in our Property Sheet. And in the Other tab, we're looking for our Tab Stop property, and that is right here and it is set to yes so I want to double click to toggle it to no you can see how as I doggle, double click it toggles from yes to no or I could use the drop down to make my selection but whichever way I do it I want to make sure that the tab stop is set to no on the tour end date calculation so now that I've done that I'm going to switch back to form view and once I get back into form view, I'm going to press tab several times to move to the next record. Because hopefully, since that tab stop has been removed from the tour end date text box, the tab order should flow correctly from top to bottom, skipping the calculated field. So now that I'm back in my form view, I'm going to start at the top of the record and I'm going to press tab enough times to get to the end of the record. And now it takes me directly to the next record with that last time that I pressed tab on the record. So I did the tab stop correctly. To save my work, I would just want to click the save button in the quick access toolbox.